Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 22nd through the 28th. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising signs. So Leo, for this reading, I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck along with the Blessed Be Oracle. All right, and then we have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's see here. Very interesting spread, Leo. So the Hermit at the bottom of the deck can represent the sign of Virgo for some of you. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we have the Hermit. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Wands underneath that. Wow, and then I have the Ace of Cups. Okay, I have the Ace of Cups. This is interesting because then I have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so we have two queens here, but um, this could be you, especially you Leo females. You might have water in your chart. Um, we have a blessing here. We have a blessing with the Ace of Cups. I view um, the Queen of Wands as a manifester, someone who will make things happen. She's also a multitasker. She can handle a lot going on at once. So we have this new beginning. Three of Wands could be even multiple new beginnings. This is things taking root. The energy could be shifting. So Six of Swords, if you've been trying to manifest and you've dealt with like some challenging energies. This can be the energy moving forward and things feeling easier or lighter. Um, some of you Leos, this is you may be focused on the future. You might be spending some time alone here with the Hermit this week, spending that time alone with the Three of Wands, thinking about the future quite a bit, um, maybe setting new goals, like thinking about the long-term future. So what do you want for yourself? For some of you, you're maybe thinking about quite a bit, um, and then you might be putting that energy, that effort into manifesting these things here. Um, for some of you, your intuition is definitely very strong here this week. For some of you, you might even be like divinely inspired here at this time to maybe make some changes. Um, we have the star as the overall energy which is a very positive, optimistic, hopeful energy. So for some of you, the energy is moving forward. Um, if you dealt with you know, some challenges, this is definitely the energy improving for you. Now you might have a very optimistic um, point of view about something now. You might feel better about something. Um, for some of you, Leos, maybe you're even recovering. Uh, you might be out of work with the Hermit, the Star, and then the Four of Swords. For some of you, could you could be out of work or on vacation or just, again, spending that time of, alone. You could be thinking about the future and making those plans um, with the Four of Swords. This is you may be catching up on your sleep if you haven't been able to um, get a quality night's sleep because we have we have some swords here so for some of you you could have been overly stressing or worried about something or there could have been something that was preventing you from like getting a lot of rest um, here we have the eight and the nine of swords some Leos maybe you're stressing about an opportunity or again maybe dealing with like little challenges or little hurdles or something that you had to overcome and you might have been stressing about this. Um, often with the Eight of Swords, it's it's worrying unnecessarily. But for some of you with the Nine of Swords, it was maybe keeping you up at night. Four of Swords, though, is like you recharging. This is you spending that time alone. For some of you catching up on your sleep. Um, if you were worried about walking down a new path, I mean, we have the Fool here. So you're moving down a new path. You're going on a new adventure, but maybe you have to take like some sort of risk or a leap of faith. And that's why we have this like optimistic energy. 
you know, you might be nervous. We have, you know, we have this, these swords cards. So you might be nervous and you could be fearful, but still with that being said, we have this like optimistic energy here. So some of you are moving forward, maybe taking a chance, taking a risk. But this could be for some Leos, like you pausing before you do so, pausing, resting, recharging your batteries, which there's nothing wrong with that. So if you need it, do it. Um, we have that Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, which I mentioned, you know, she's got a ton of energy. She's a multitasker, but at some point we all need to take a break. So, you know, for some of you, you're resting. This is you basically recharging your batteries um, right before you literally take that leap because we do see you moving forward down a new path and then we also have the world here so something could be completing in your life Leo something has, has come full circle um, also the world can speak about travel so for those of you that are traveling it could be like long distance travel especially with the world and then we do have the sun here so there could be some leos that maybe you're moving or maybe you're traveling to like a warm climate um and so this is you maybe needing to rest up before you do this uh some of you leos might be on vacation from work and you could be getting away <laughs> some of you could be going off on vacay um But you have like a lot of independent energy here. You have this four of swords, you have the hanged man, you have the hermit. So we have like a lot of independent energy here. So it is possible that, you know, if you are on vacay from work or going on vacay, I mean, I could be reading for some Leos that you're doing this alone, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I definitely could be reading for some very independent Leos, or maybe this week you just, you know, maybe you want to be alone. Um, you want to catch up on your sleep. Um, but the hanged man is, for me, can represent several different things. It can represent that period of suspense, but often... For me, the hanged man can represent someone who needs to see things from a fresh perspective or someone who needs to take a step back and look at the larger picture. So we have the star here, which is a very optimistic energy. And then here we have the hanged man. So some of you here this week, you could be surrendering. Um, here we have the four of pentacles. So if you have been trying to maybe control something or something like that, this could be you letting go, honestly. This could be you letting go. Maybe you've been trying to do something or trying to manifest, trying to do something, um, but maybe you felt a little challenged. This could be you now surrendering. Um, and just keeping the faith, basically, surrendering, letting go, allowing the universe to guide you. Um, for some of you, giving it to God, you know, I'm not going to let myself worry about this stuff no more. I'm just going to have faith and let's see what happens. For some of you, that's how you're going to resonate with this. And I think that, that if that's, you know, what you're doing, Leo, that's what's best. Because for some of you, this has been bothering you. Something's been weighing on your mind. It's not good once it reaches the Nine of Swords because it's it's taking a toll on your health. So, you know, if you're lacking sleep, that's 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 not good. So, for some of you, this is like you giving it to God. You can't allow yourself to worry about this any longer. And this is you now. You have faith. You're just going to maybe see what happens. But what's happening is you're moving forward down a new path. For some of you, it could be a phase, a chapter of your life that's completing or something has come full circle in your life. Very blessed energy along with the sun. I think that the path that you're moving down, you're very much being spiritually guided. Um, again, divine inspiration for some of you. You were maybe um, inspired to move forward in this particular direction for some of you. Um, and if you've been spending some time alone, that could be a good thing um, because your intuition is speaking to you. But we have the world and we have the sun. 
And so I, I feel like this is a good path that you're moving down. For some of you, you know, you're moving towards this success, but also this, this happiness, this, this abundant lifestyle, this happiness. Um, so yeah, let's pull you an additional guidance card. Leo, what else does Leo need to know for this week? Additional guidance for Leo. All right, so I have these two cards that just came out together. Interesting. A blessing on your intuition, a blessing of the waters. Yeah. So for some of you, what's needed is spending that time alone, going within, definitely, if you like to meditate, meditate. If you can do this outside, if it's warm where you are, if you could do this outside, that would be, you know, a good thing, definitely. Um, but your intuition is speaking to you. Definitely, definitely, your intuition is speaking to you. A blessing of the waters, um, for me, can represent several different things. Um, but for some of you, this is your intuition, uh, your gut speaking to you. Um, some of you could be a little bit more emotional here this week. But I think that's that's a good thing um, because some of you are definitely being like divinely inspired here. And so I think that for you to be receptive and for you to really listen to your intuition, I feel like this is good energy. We have a lot of swords here, so this is very good. Um, yeah, so some of you are going to be able to connect more with your intuition. Uh, and you might be a little bit more emotional here, but your heart could also be like speaking to you here. So move forward in this direction, Leo. Take that risk. Take that leap of faith. Stay positive. And take care of you. Definitely many of you Leos uh, need to take care of you here this week. All right. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeastterra.com. Right now I do have the one question mini oracles up for sale and there is no wait when it comes to those. All right, Leo, have a great week. Take care.